Another week, another game. This time, it's against the 49ers. Let's get it. It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the 49ers and the Bengals, and it comes your way next. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. This crowd loves their orange and black. The scene just a short time ago, they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. Here we go, opening kickoff is underway. And this one looks like I'll be able to return it. Turn up the middle, and oh my, it looks like I'm about to break it, but nah, just not fast enough as I do get caught up and tackled, but that's by far our best return of the year. Our first play of the game is a run to the right, and I have nothing to complain about as our offensive line made a pretty decent hole and we got some good yards. Following that, our next play is going to be a pass, and I make a beautiful read here as I'm getting pressured. We make a secure catch, and we got a first down. So a first down rush did not go anywhere, so we run a play action. No one's open right there, so I just take off to the left. And if you've ever seen one of my videos before, my quarterback fumbles a lot, so I just got out of bounds. So with my QB scramble, it's third and one. We need to pick up the first down, and I hit the back out of the backfield, secures the catch, and we'll keep those chains moving. Second and ten, we drop back to pass, and no one gets open for me, and I'm sacked, and we lose quite a bit of yards there. Third and twenty-one, this one's going to be tough to pick up, as we drop back to pass, looking for someone to get open, and I end up throwing it away, which, I don't know, if we take a sack, they were knocked out of field goal range, we throw it away, we're knocked out of field goal range, so, I guess, nothing really could happen there. So after our punt, it's first and ten for them, they run a play action, and our rush gets there as we get a sack to start off the game for our defense. Third and ten, I know my defense is feeling a three and out. They try to find someone open, he ends up throwing it, and it almost got picked off. So close, but it'll force a punt, and we'll get that ball back. A great punt here, and I'm liking the good punts from my opposing teams, because that means I can return. Pick up a nice block there, but I'm unable to juke that defender, and we'll start our drive at our 30-yard line. Right away, we go to work on our ground game, trying to pick up some yards on first down, and we pick up about three. So, not the best, but can't really complain. On second down, we ran for about two yards, so we're forced to pass here. Try to pick up this first down, looking for anyone to get open. And Tyreek Hill gets open along the sideline, goes upfield, and we're in the 49ers territory. After two failed runs, we got a pass on third and 14. No one's open initially, so I roll out to the right, still looking for someone to get open. I'm thinking about running it, but at the last second, I throw it to Kelsey over the middle. He catches it, breaks the tackle, and we're in the red zone. This might be my favorite red zone play as Tyreek Hill just runs his route to perfection, and he's wide open for the grab, and we got the first touchdown of the game. We're into the second quarter now as we run a three-man rush, and our coverage is just excellent. But with a three-man rush, no one's getting there. I figured at some point someone would get there, but we leave the guy wide open, and they're in our territory. After an eight-yard completion, they're set up at second and two, and they run to the left with McCaffrey, and he's got green grass ahead of him as no one's going to catch him. He's in the end zone, and just like that, we're tied. Now that we're tied, we need to take that lead right back. So we're going to play action pass here, but I have to check it down to Ertz. Or no, that's, I don't even know that's that guy's name. We check it down to number 83, and he gets a few yards. After some runs, we pick up the first down. It's second and seven, but I have no time to pass. That's just a beautiful play call, as they brought more men than my offensive line could block. So third and seven, we're going to try to pick up the first down here. And Diggs, 
He must have knew the route before Tyreek Hill even ran it because he was there. I was expecting Tyreek Hill to be open. And he almost takes it to the house but steps out at the three-yard line. Just like that. It's first and goal and they could do some damage here. But my defensive line stays strong. We're back there. And they lose about one yard, I guess. I don't know. I feel like it's more than one, but they lose one yard. So on second and goal, they'll run it again. He has a gap there, but he can't quite get in the end zone. He falls short, but he gets his yard back at least. So third and goal. They go back to the run once again, but we just stop him at the one-yard line as we were ready for it. Fourth and goal on the one. They don't risk anything. They take a cheap shot field goal, and they got the lead 10 to 7. So following the return, we started our 21-yard line, and Barkley breaks off a nice run here. And we're set up moving down the field. Following an incomplete pass, it's second and 10. And we have the matchup I like as we have Travis Kelce against Diggs. But Diggs intercepts it, and that's his second of the game. And our offense is not looking too strong at this point. On second and nine, they motion on McCaffrey. And for some reason, my safety takes off with him. Don't know why. But we're going to pay the price here. As it's a wide open completion. And they got a 17-7 lead. Now that we're down 17-7, momentum is not on our side. As I give it to Saquon, and he picks up the first down, and a few more. Third and ten, it's not looking good for us, as even as we're the home team, our screen is still shaking here. And we're just looking for someone to get open. I throw it up, and it hits him right in the hands, but falls incomplete, and we're going to be forced to punt. We need our defense to make a big stop here, as we're down by ten. And we don't want to let him get any points. So we got really good coverage, and my defense goes above and beyond as Diggs gets an interception, returns it all the way, and just like that, we're down by three. They're moving the ball a little too easily, so I bring a blitz trying to throw him off, and boy, does it work out as we get the sack. On third and 16, instead of trying to pass deep, they just run it to the right, we stop it, and we lose our second timeout as we're going to get the ball back. So with 40 seconds left, we're going to try to get some points as Tyree Kill beats his man. And he gets down, but it's in bounds. So we're going to run no huddle. Looking to move this ball down the field. Hopefully get out of bounds. Stop the clock. And we hit a little check down RB route to Barkley. And we're out of bounds at the 49ers 43-yard line. I'm confident in Justin Tucker's ability to hit a field goal from here. But I want to help him out a little bit. Or better yet, get a touchdown. But Tyreek Hill is going to be the only one open here. We hit him, and we're set up at the 24-yard line. Now, some coaches might have kicked there, taking the points, but with six seconds left, one timeout, I'm going for the end zone. We hit Travis Kelsey, and I was hoping he'd break that tackle, but he winds up just short. We use our last timeout, and we'll have two seconds left in the quarter. I got big balls, man. I ain't going for a tie. We're trying to take the lead with all the momentum on our side going in the second half, and that's what we're going to try here. With a first and goal at the two-yard line, two seconds left. I'm really making sure this play is right. And we got Zach Ertz with a beautiful route. And we'll take a four-point lead going into the half. Let me know what you think Kyle Shanahan is saying under his breath as he lets up that touchdown. And we'll look at the halftime stats here. Here we go. Start of the second half with Justin Tucker bombing this one. And no surprise, it's out of the back of the end zone. Hits the upright. And it's going to be another touchback. I'm interested to see what the 49ers' plan is on this first drive as they let up a late touchdown on the final play to surrender the lead. As here, McCaffrey runs right for about three. So on third and six, it's not looking good for them as they're about to be three and out here as Golden breaks through, gets the sack, and we'll get the ball, and we got some momentum on our side. Here's one of our favorite plays to run, and we're trying to set a tone on with our offense as Kelsey's against the linebacker, and he goes for the interception, which puts him out of position, and Kelsey's going to go all the way. That's a big score for us as we'll take a two-possession lead now. The 49ers might have another three and out here. But they run a beautiful play design, and they pick up the first down and a lot more. 
just besides letting up the long touchdown run our run defense has been pretty solid as here McCaffrey has nowhere to go and he only picks up about two yards third and inches I'm selling out for the run but it's a pass we got amazing coverage as Hendrickson this time gets a sack and it'll force them to punt so it's our ball and as you see Travis Kelsey does have his X factor so is my quarterback but we don't pass to him here as Watkins burns his man I hit him in stride no one's gonna catch him he goes all the way in the end zone and we got a 35-17 lead middle of the third quarter they've been moving the ball down the field and on third and six here we have a little late adjustment and that kind of pays off for them as they make the catch and they're set up at our 40 yard line you know they just picked up the first down it's third and six already our defense has been playing amazing as we had great coverage but no pressure which is a common theme with our defense and they're set up first and ten at our ten yard line third and ten we're looking to hold them to a field goal so we're gonna cover three and we got the coverage pretty solid right here as he's forced to throw a jump ball and it's caught they get a touchdown Ah, I don't know what happened to Callahan there, but he got stuck behind the receiver and lets up the score. After a two-yard loss, it's second and 12. We drop back to pass. Barkley is just wide open. He's looking at the ball, and he sees me throwing at him, but he turns away, hits off his back, and falls incomplete. I don't know what that was. If someone wants to explain that to me, that'd be helpful. But it's third and 12. We're dropping back, trying to find someone to go to. The pressure's there. I try to throw it away, and it's incomplete. Fourth and 12. We'll punt it to them. They have a chance to make it a one-possession game. So it's first and 10 for them at our own 40-yard line because McCaffrey got a decent return. But our coverage is very good there, and we get a sack. And he lost a lot of yards on that sack, 13 yards. What I hate is my defense line is though, it's so inconsistent. Sometimes we'll be back there, get the sack, and then sometimes it's have it your way. Stay back there as long as you want. You're on vacation, basically. As here, they pick up some yards to get it back, but it's still going to be third and long. But going back to my defensive line, it's like Burger King. Have it your way. Take as long as you want. Find the open receiver. But let's get back to the game. Third and 14. I mean, if we let this up, it's going to be pretty sad. We're putting some pressure, forcing him to throw a long ball that I almost intercept, but it goes incomplete, and we'll get the ball back, I think. No, they're going to go for it on 4th and 14. Well, let's watch this and see what happens, because I do not remember. I mean, 4th and 14, if we let this up, man, I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. As he chucks it up toward my best corner, and they come down with it. Oh, boy. What were we doing? On third and seven, they decide to run up the middle, try to pick up the first down, but our re run defense has been pretty solid all day as we stop them there. So they end up taking the three points, and it makes it 35, 27, eight point game, one possession game. On second and 13, Barkley finds a nice hole here, picks up the first down, trucks his man, and it's a 15 yard rush at the end of the day. We've been chewing some clock, but on third down, we need to pick up the first down. Play action. Kelsey's wide open. I mean, wide open. He's not going to get caught. Going down the sideline. And we got a 42 27 lead, as that should be a dagger, but we'll find out. First and 10, 49ers trying to move the ball down the field. And I don't know what that pass was because my user was there and I pick it off. And that will set us up in great field position. So with little time left, I'm thinking we just run out the clock here. Chew clock. But Barkley and my offensive line have other visions. As he breaks off a 24-yard carry. He's in the end zone. We got a 49-27 lead now. So now being down by 22 points. 49ers are just trying to put up some points. I'm not going to lie. I got burned on that route. That was a nice route. And McCaffrey gets him to the... Our, our, what am I even saying? I'll just keep going. And they drop back, pass once again. McCaffrey is open, and he runs it down to our 38-yard line. I'm just going to keep the plays going, man. They're running no huddle. Might as well keep talking. Let's watch see what happens. We got great coverage. Pressure's there. He throws it away. Falls incomplete, and I can finally cut this clip. 
45 seconds left, it's third and six. We stop him here, it's game over easily. But then he makes a nice catch and run after catch as he's down to our 10 yard line. So they run no huddle and then call timeout. So that was kind of pointless. But with 20 seconds left, Donald's back to throw once again. And once again, they get a touchdown in that back left corner of the end zone. And that's kind of just a pity touchdown there. With the garbage time touchdown, they just had to go for two. And we got him locked up. We're on clamps. Finally, my D-line gets there. He's sacked. And the two-point conversion is a fail. They're down by 16, but they're still going to do an onside kick as we easily recover it. And now we can just chew out the clock. After we run down the clock, Kyle Shanahan takes his anger out on that cup, throwing it to the ground. Obviously disappointed, but our team, our offense put up 49 points. A little help from our defense with the pick six, but, you know, 49 points, we'll take that all day. So let's take a look at the post-game stats. As you can see here, we actually had 10 times where we pressured the quarterback, so that's impressive for us. And that'll be the end of this video. We come away with the big win, 49-33. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.